Football continues on Twin Valley Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Rocky Downing, voice of the Clay Center Tigers on KCLY Radio. And we're joined today by Sean Fitzenmeyer, senior wide receiver and safety for the Clay Center Tigers. Sean, appreciate you taking time to step in on a busy game week once again. You guys open up district play this week. And first off, let me set the record straight. Sean Fitzenmeyer set out one year of uh, high school football. I had you written off for two years there early in the season. I had, had forgotten that the uh, sophomore year you had been out, sat out last year. Good to be back on the field as yeah. a senior now? Yeah, it's pretty fun. You guys have had a, a, a chance to kind of put in a new offense with Coach Rice and what this team has brought. It's a little more spread out. Kind of suits your style of play, I would think, on the football field. Yeah, I like being out in the open. It gives the ball around. It's pretty fun. Let's talk about the first touchdown catch. Clay Center Tiger varsity uniform. Uh, do you remember it? Do you, do you still get a little pumped yeah, up thinking about it? I remember it, but it's uh, it was kind of a, a whirl. I didn't know what was going on. You, know, I, you said a minute ago, we were talking before coming on the air, and I mentioned the fourth down and 20 at Concordia this past Friday. He said, you don't even remember that play, but I'll tell you, watching it, it was a thing of beauty. Fourth down, you get a timeout, 20 yards to goal, and at the goal line, uh, you pull it in in, in traffic. Uh, uh, Luke Schlegel, I think, has uh, become very confident in throwing the football down to Sean Fitz Fitzmeyer's way. Yeah. In practice, we just say, throw it up, and that's kind of the, the word we say. That's great. You know, district play opens this week, and uh, as a senior, it's hard to believe those last three weeks of the regular season, if you will, are here, but district play is what it's all about. I know Coach Rice has been talking to you guys about that, and Amigos, this Friday night's game. Uh, what do you know about what the Red Raiders have done outside of their 3-3, three and three just like you guys? Uh, not a whole lot, but I just know we're going to beat them. I like that confidence. <laughs> I also like the thought that after going through a real tough schedule, you guys have two wins in a row, and for the first time since uh, early in this decade, the Tigers have a legitimate shot at winning a district title. I know that's something that's been on your guys' mind quite a bit. Yeah, I knew those first four games were going to be a harder part of the schedule, but those are over now. By the way, when you look in on Fridays or listen in on Fridays, I want to introduce you right now to the new Mr. Excitement, Sean Fitzenmeyer. Check him out with Tiger Football on Twin Valley Sports. Back on Tiger Football pregame as we are joined now by the head coach of the Clay Center Tigers, Todd Rice. The Tigers coming off two straight wins, coach, uh, this last week. Another game that you put some distance between yourself and your opponent. Um, you're doing some things you've been wanting to do all season long, and you're doing things that are expected of this team, I guess, in the last two weeks. Right. Uh, I think our guys have done a good job stepping up and, uh, you know, fighting through some adversity, you know, and we had uh, some tough games early on, and I think the guys kept believing and kept working, and uh, last couple of weeks we, we've had some pretty good things happen for us. I know you felt this offense could start to open things up and give you guys some trips up and down the field into the end zone, and in fact, against those tougher teams you talked about, we moved the ball, just didn't right. get it in. Uh, the last couple of weeks we've seen that against Concordia, boy, the air game looked, uh, looked really good. Yeah, you know, and I was, uh, you know, everybody together, you know, our line did a nice job on protection. Uh, Luke threw the football probably as well as you can throw the football that night, and then our receivers did a great job catching the ball. So that was just fun to see, you know, and spread the football around and uh, use a lot of different weapons and, you know, come out clicking and then hit some big critical down situations too. Well, the fourth and 20, we talked with Sean right. earlier about that, but uh, you call a timeout and I guess it's just throw it down the seam, find Sean Fitzemeyer, right? Oh, uh, it's kind of it. I mean, Sean's a pretty viable threat for us, and uh, all it is is a numbers game. And, uh, you know, they kind of left him alone on the backside and uh, had some more people toward our trip. So we came out of the huddle and said, if that's what they gave us, that's where we were going. And uh, Luke kind of audibled back to it, and we hit it. You guys on defense? Turnover war, everybody wants to win that, and you guys really dominated that on Friday. Yeah, we've been all right in that department. Uh, you know, we've still got to get to the point where we're getting stops, and there's some crazy things in that game with a couple onside kicks and then some adverse type situations in the game. And, you know, we've got to do a better job getting people off the field on third and fourth down, and those are things we're trying to address. You guys have two wins in a row, you're doing some things you wanted to do. 
Now it's district play, already here, but I know I, I talked with you earlier in the day and you said this is like Christmas right now. I mean, mm -hmm. Everything's happening in, in, in high school sports and in high school football. District play against Wamigo tonight. That's all you can hope for, get to this time of year and uh, hope that you're playing well, hope you got some positive energy and uh, you know we're excited about where we're at and the opportunity. One note we'll mention, uh, Cord Carlson, we just had him on last week in our pregame. Uh, Thomas the Tank went down with an injury on Friday and uh, to be real honest, it was uh, thought to be just kind of a heavy bruise. Uh, there's a ligament that's torn. He's out for the year. Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate and just feel sick about that where, you know, Cord's been really invested in our program and a big part of it, uh, just the mental aspect and, and the commitment to the program. You just hate to see that for a young man. And I know he's overcome some injuries in the past. And, uh, you know, he just went in, played a little bit of defense through one stretch, kind of got caught up in an awkward situation. And... Uh, just real unfortunate thing. We feel bad for him. What about the Red Raiders? What will they bring at you tonight? I, I've watched a little bit of game film, and that's about all that I've seen. Uh, they like to share it with several different people out of the backfield. And they've got a very athletic receiver that seems if they throw it near him, kind of like Sean Fitzemeyer, he yeah. wants to go get it. Yeah, they do, and uh, depends on how they spread their kids around. I, I kind of call them a version of the wing bone. You know, with that one back set, no motion back. And probably what they do best is they try to run the football right at you. And they'll do it out of that set by motioning a guy back, running some power, and then their counter game. Uh, and then they'll jump back and go to the true wishbone with three guys. And, you know, I'm sure they're going to test it and see if they can bring it straight at us, too. You know, we look back to the game against Chapman, and we said it could be a turning point in the season. Both teams probably felt they could go in and make something happen, and the Tigers did that. I got to think both of the coaches are probably giving similar speeches. Two, three, and three teams. District play is here. It's a winnable district for right. just about anybody. Yeah, it is. And you look at Wamega, they've beat the same teams we did in the league, and, you know, won and lost against the same people. And uh, it's a very even contest. And, you know, it's going to be whoever plays well and whoever takes advantage of opportunities. One big win on the road, and then you can get back home to finish out the season. Uh, it would be a great opportunity in district play. Coach, go get him tonight. All right, thanks a lot. Tiger football on Twin Valley Sports.